Good morning, Lord bless. Good to be back with you again today as we continue reading through the Word of God. And today we're going to be reading three chapters. We're going to do 2 Chronicles 22, 23, and 24. We'll start out 2 Chronicles 22, 2, 2, 2. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem made a Haziah, his youngest son, king in his stead. For the band of men that came with the Arabians to the camp had slain all the elders. So Ahaziah, the son of Jehoram, king of Judah, reigned. Forty and two years old was Ahaziah when he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Athaliah, the daughter of Omri. He also walked in the ways of the house of Ahab, where his mother was his counselor to do wickedly. For he did evil in the sight of the Lord, like the house of Ahab. For they were his counselors after the death of his father to his destruction. He walked also after their counsel and went with Jehoram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, to war against Hazel, king of Syria, at Ramoth Gilead. And the Syrians smote Jehoram, and he returned to be healed in Jezreel because of the wounds which were given him in Ramah when he fought with Hazel, king of Syria. And Ahaziah, the son of Jehoram, king of Judah, went down to see Jehoram, the son of Ahab, at Jezreel, because he was sick. And the destruction of Ahaziah was of God by coming to Jehoram. For he, when he was come, he went out with Jehoram against Jehu, the son of Nimshi, whom the Lord had anointed to cut off the house of Ahab. And it came to pass that when Jehu was executing judgment upon the house of Ahab and found the princes of Judah and the sons of the brethren of Ahaziah that ministered to Ahaziah he slew them and he brought Ahaziah and they caught him for he was hid in Samaria and brought him to Jehu when they had slain him they buried him because said they he is the son of Jehoshaphat who sought the Lord with all his heart so the house of Ahaziah had no power to keep still the kingdom. But when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal of the house of Judah. But Jehoshabeth, the daughter of the king, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's sons that were slain, and put him and his nurse in a bedchamber. So Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Jehoram, the wife of Jehodiah, the priest, for she was the sister of Ahaziah, hid him from Athaliah, so that she slew him not. And he was with them, hid in the house of God, six years, and Athaliah reigned over the land. Mm. Stuff going on there. And then this chapter 23. And in the seventh year, Jehoiada strengthened himself and took the captains of hundreds at Azariah, Azariah, the son of Jehoram, and Ishmael, the son of Jehonaniah, Jehonani, Jehonanan, and Azariah, the son of Obed, and Messiah, the son of Adiah, and Elishaphat, the son of Zikri, into covenant with him. And they went out in Judah and gathered the Levites out of all the cities of Judah and the chief of the fathers of Israel. And they came to Jerusalem and all the congregation made a covenant with the king in the house of God. And he said unto them, Behold, the king's son shall reign as the Lord hath said of the sons of David. This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part of you entering on the Sabbath of the priests and of the Levites shall be porters of the doors. And a third part shall be at the king's house, and a third part at the gate of the foundation. And all the people shall be in the courts of the house of the Lord. But let none come into the house of the Lord, save the priest and they that minister of the Levites. They shall go in, for they are holy. But all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord. And the Levites shall come past the king round about, every man with his weapons in his hand. And whosoever else cometh unto, into the house, he shall be put to death. But be ye with the king when he cometh in, when he goeth out. 
So the Levites and all Judah did according to all things that Jehoiada the priest had commanded, and took every man his men that were to come in on the Sabbath with them that were to go out to on the Sabbath. For Jehoiada the priest dismissed not the courses. Moreover, Jehoiada the priest delivered to the captains of hundreds spears and bucklers and shields that had been King David's, which were in the house of God. And he set all the people, every man having his weapon in his hand, from the right side of the temple to the left side of the temple, along by the altar in the temple, by the king round about. Then they brought out the king's son and put him, put upon him the crown, and gave him the testimony and made him king. And Jehoiada and his sons anointed him and said, God save the king. Now when Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she came to the people into the house of the Lord. And she looked and behold, the king stood at his pillar at the entering in, and the princes and the trumpets by the king. And all the people of the land rejoiced and sounded with trumpets, also the singers with the instruments of music and such as taught to sing praise. Then Athaliah rent her clothes and said, Treason, treason. Then Jehoiada the priest brought out the captains of hundreds that were set over the host and said unto them, Have her forth of the ranges, and whoso followeth her, let him be slain with the sword. For the priests say, Slay her not in the house of the Lord. So they laid hands on her, and when she was come to the entering of the horse gate by the king's house, they slew her there. And Jehoiada made a covenant between him and between all the people and between the king that they should be the Lord's people. Then all the people went to the house of Baal and break it down and break his altars and his images in pieces and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. Also Jehoiada appointed the officers of the house of the Lord by the hand of the priests of the Levites, whom David had distributed in the house of the Lord, to offer the burnt offerings of the Lord, as it is written in the law of Moses, with rejoicing and with singing, as it was ordained with David. And he set the porters at the gates of the house of the Lord, that was, that none which was unclean and anything should enter in. And he took captains of hundreds and the nobles and the governors of the people and all the people of the land and brought down the king from the house of the Lord. And they came through the high gate into the king's house and set the king upon the throne of the kingdom. And all the people of the land rejoiced and the city was quiet. After that, they had slain Athaliah with the sword. Second Chronicles chapter 24. Joash was seven years old when he began to reign. He reigned forty years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Zibiah of Beersheba. And Joash did that which was right in the sight of the Lord all the days of Jehoiada the priest. And Jehoiada took for him two wives, and he begat sons and daughters. And it came to pass after this that Joash was minded to repair the house of the Lord. And he gathered together the priests and the Levites and said to them, Go out unto the cities of Judah and gather of all Israel money to repair the house of your God from year to year, and see that ye hasten the matter. Howbeit the Levites hastened it not. And the king called for Jehoiada the chief and said unto him, Why hast thou not required of the Levites to bring in out of Judah and out of Jerusalem the collection according to the commandment of Moses, the servant of the Lord, and of the congregation of Israel, for the tabernacle of witness. For the sons of Athaliah, that wicked woman, had broken up the house of the Lord, the house of God, and also all the dedicated things of the house of the Lord did they bestow upon Balaam. And at the king's commandment they made a chest and set it without at the gate of the house of the Lord, and they made a proclamation through Judah and Jerusalem, to bring in to the Lord the collection that Moses, the servant of God, laid upon Israel in the wilderness. And all the princes and all the people rejoiced and brought in and cast into the chest until they had made an end. Now it came to pass that at what time the chest was brought unto the king's office by the hand of the Levites, 
And when they saw that there was much money, the king's scribes and the high priest officer came and emptied the chest and it took and took it and carried it to his place again. Thus they did day by day and gathered money in abundance. And the king and Jehoiada gave it to such as did the work of the service of the house of the Lord and hired masons and carpenters to repair the house of the Lord and also such as wrought iron and brass to mend the house of the Lord. So the workmen wrought, and the work was perfected by them, and they set the house of God in a state and strengthened it. And when they had finished it, they brought the rest of the money before the king and Jehoiada, whereof were made vessels for the house of the Lord, even vessels to minister and to offer withal, and spoons and vessels of gold and silver. And they offered burnt offerings in the house of the Lord continually all the days of Jehoiada. But Jehoiada waxed old and was full of days when he died. And hundred and thirty years old was he when he died. And they buried him in the city of David among the kings, because he had done good in Israel, both toward God and toward his house. Now after the death of Jehoiada came the princes of Judah and made ambience to the king. Then the king hearkened unto them. And they left the house of the Lord God of their fathers and served groves and idols, and wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for their, this their trespass. And he, spent, and he sent prophets to them to bring them again unto the Lord. And they testified against them, but they would not give ear. And the Spirit of God came upon Zechariah, the son of Jehoiada, the priest, which stood above the people and said unto them, Thus saith God, Why transgress ye the commandments of the Lord, that ye cannot prosper? Because ye have forsaken the Lord, he hath also forsaken you. And they conspired against him and stoned him with stones at the commandment of the king in the court of the house of the Lord. Thus Joash the king remembered not the kindness which Jehoiada his father had done to him, but slew his son. And when he died, he said, The Lord look upon it and require it. And it came to pass at the end of the year that the host of Syria came up against him. And they came to Judah and Jerusalem and destroyed all the princes of the people from among the people and sent all the spoil of them unto the king of Damascus. For the army of the Syrians came with a small company of men and the Lord delivered a very great host into their hand because they had forsaken the Lord God of their fathers. So they executed judgment against Joash and when they were departed from him for they left him in great diseases his own servants conspired against him for the blood of the sons of Jehoiada the priest and slew him on his bed, and he died, and they buried him in the city of David. But they buried him not in the sepulchres of the kings. And these are they that conspired against him, Zabad the son of Shemeath and Ammonitus, and Jehozabad the son of Shemrith and Moabitus. Now concerning his sons and the greatness of the burdens, laid upon him and the repairing of the house of God. Behold, they are written in the story of the book of the kings. And Amaziah, his son, reigned in his stead. Amen. Praise the Lord for the word of God and uh, the direction and history that he has passed on to us to give us uh, for our knowledge, for our learning. And um, amen. Keep on this journey. And look forward to continue reading through the Word of God with you. Join in tomorrow. Like, share, comment, ask questions. Encourage somebody else on this journey. See you tomorrow, Lord willing. Lord bless. Bye.